Okay, so we just finished looking at the law of conservation of mass, and we looked at it in terms of mass on both the reactant side and the product side. And we learned that if I have 20 grams of mass on the reactant side, it has to equal 20 grams of mass on the product side. I can't add any mass to it. I can't take any mass away from it. It has to be the same amount. It's just going to look different. And so now we're going to look at the law of conservation of mass in terms of specific elements and how many atoms I have for each element that's present within the equation. And we know that if we have 10 carbons on the reactant side, we have to have 10 carbons on the product side. If we do have all of the same elements equaling the same amount on both the reactant and the product side, we have what's called a balanced equation. If an equation is balanced, that means that it is following the law of conservation mass. So let's look at an example of that. So here we have um, a paper, and we've got some Skittles, and we do not want to eat these Skittles. They've been used all day, um, so please make sure that all of your Skittles um, make it back into the cup so that the next class will be able to use it. And right over here, I do have a color key that tells me which color is carbon, which color is hydrogen, and which color is oxygen. So in this first equation here, I want to go ahead and build this entire equation. And I'm going to walk you through um, this first example. So here I have one carbon. So I'm going to put one yellow Skittle. I have four hydrogens, and hydrogens are red. So I'm going to get four red Skittles. Here I have four oxygens. Two times two is four. So I'm going to put four greens. Here I have one carbon, two oxygens, two times two is four, so I have four hydrogens, and then I have two times one is two, I have two oxygens. So when we go to look at this, we want to make sure that I have the same number of carbons, hydrogens, and oxygens on both sides of the equation. Remember we talked about how the yield sign is like a wall. So whatever I have on one side, I have to also have on the other side. And so what we're going to do is we're going to line up our elements, our Skittles, on both sides of that wall. So I have one carbon on the reactant side. I have one carbon on the product side. I have four hydrogens on the reactant side. I have four hydrogens on the product side. For oxygen, I have four oxygens on the reactant side, and I have two plus two oxygens, which equals four on the product side. So this is an example of a balanced equation. And the reason this equation is balanced is because my carbons are the same on both sides, my hydrogens are the same on both sides, my oxygens are the same on both sides. So this is a balanced equation that does follow the law of conservation of mass. I didn't take anything away, I didn't add anything, all I did was rearrange it and made new substances. Okay, But what would happen if I took one of these oxygens away. Carbon is balanced, hydrogen is balanced, but oxygen is short one on the product side. So because it is short, that means this would now be an unbalanced equation that does not follow the law of conservation of mass. So now what I want you to do, I want you to take your Skittles and you're going to put them back down at the bottom, and I want you to build CH4 plus O2 yield CO2 plus H2O, and then I want you to line it underneath the yield sign just like what we did, and I want you with your group to determine is this equation right here balanced or is it unbalanced? I want you to pause the video and I want you to do this example. Once your group has determined whether it's balanced or unbalanced, I want you to uh, press play. Okay, so now we have the second equation that you've built, and you've lined it up underneath the yield sign. So we are going to line them up here. I've got one carbon on the reactant side, one carbon on the product side. I have four hydrogens on the reactant side, but over here I only have two hydrogens. So right here I can stop. I know that this is not a balanced equation. It is considered unbalanced. And it does not follow the law of conservation of mass because I should have four hydrogens on the product side, but I only have two. If I continue to go, though, I will see that it is also not balanced with oxygen because I have two oxygens on the reactant side 
but I have three on the product side. So this second, this second equation right here is an example of an unbalanced equation. Now what I want you to do is build the third and final equation using your Skittles, and I want with your group you to determine is this balanced or is this unbalanced. Go ahead and pause the video, build, make a decision, and then continue playing the video. Okay, so now you have built your third and final equation here, and when we go to move these underneath the old sign right away, we notice that carbon is not equal um, on the product side as it is to the reactant side. So already we know that this is an unbalanced equation, but if I continue to look, hydrogen is also going to be unbalanced. I have two hydrogens on the reactant side, but I have eight hydrogens on the product side. Um, oxygen is also not correct. I have six oxygens on the reactant side, um, and I only have four on the product side. So this is also an example of an unbalanced equation. All right, so now you're gonna go ahead and put your Skittles back in your cup. Please do not eat any of those. They've been used all day long. You do not want to eat those. Not only that, I do need them for all the remaining classes that we have today. So go ahead and put those up. And I want you to get out the worksheet that says balanced and unbalanced practice. So you'll see here that we have some equations and we've got our yield sign and underneath the yield sign, I've put the two elements that we see within that equation. And so we're basically going to do exactly what we did with the candy, but now we're just doing it on paper. So I'm going to look at my reactant side and I see here that I have four P's on the reactant side and I have two O's on the reactant side. Now I'm going to go to the other side of the wall and I'm going to look over here and see what I have. I have two P's and I have three O's. So we just learned that if it is not the same on both sides, of the equation, it is considered an unbalanced equation. So what I want you to do with your group, you are going to work through all of these problems and you're going to tell me how many for each element I have on the reactant side and how many I have on the product side and then you're going to determine is the equation balanced or is it unbalanced. So there are four questions on the front that you're going to work on with your group. And then when you turn it over to the back, I want you to work on this by yourself. So here you'll see that I have not given you the elements. I want you to do that. So you're going to write all the elements that we see within this equation. We've got G, A, F, and C, S. And you're going to tell me how many I have on the reactant side, how many I have on the product side, and then is this balanced or unbalanced? Once you have finished doing this, you will key this in to Schoology and you will get an additional practice.